Lily Kenneth's childhood hadn't been easy. Her biological father left home shortly after her birth, and her mother treated her with hatred, blaming her for all her misfortunes. After three years in which the woman treated her baby with revulsion, she decided to abandon her at the gates of an orphanage. Despite the mistreatment to which she had been subjected, Lily didn't understand anything. Her mother's contact had been the only love she had known in her short life. The little girl didn't want to be in the orphanage, she only wanted to go home. She waited for her day after day, hoping that her mother would come back for her. But the woman never came back. After several months, an educator from the orphanage managed to cheer her up a bit. She took care of her and gave her words of affection. This gradually made her feel better in her new home. Years later, the caretaker even taught her how to sew her own doll, Mila. Lily loved her doll and did not part with her. When she was eight years old, a family became interested in adopting the little girl. They wanted to have children, but they couldn't, so they searched the orphanage for a child with whom to share their happiness and love. When they saw Lily, they didn't hesitate and made their request, and within a few days, the girl had her new home. Lily was very happy. At last, she had parents who loved her and cared about her. Above all, what filled her the most was to feel a mother by her side again. Months later, her new parents had to take a trip for work. They couldn't take their daughter with them, but they thought she could stay home alone for two days, because she spent the afternoons in the street playing with other children in the neighborhood. However, the first night she was left home alone, she woke up with a noise. She got up and looked at the door to see where it came from and could see two men. One of them was her neighbor, who was a doctor, and the other his assistant. Suddenly, they ran to her door, preventing the little girl from closing it. They caught her and covered her face with a cloth dipped in chloroform. Hours later, Lily woke up. She was bleeding, but she had no recollection of what had happened. She was dead. She saw her Mila doll and she squeezed her eyes shut as she held on tightly. When she opened them again, Slenderman had found her. From that moment on, he would become her mentor. Lily doll can growl, hiss, and breathe, and becomes aggressive when someone runs away from the girl, attacking their victims. What many don't know is that inside this doll is Lily's heart. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.